backward wave dip is an electric vacuum device generating electromagnetic waves of frequency. The operational principle is based on the transformation of the energy of electron beams as they interact with the back wave into the energy of microwave emission. Backward wave tubes are divided into two classes, tubes of the O type and tubes of the M type. Let us consider the construction of the lamp of the type O first. The source of electrons is an electron gun. There is a static electric field in it, which accelerates the electron beam, and it moves straight towards the collector. Magnet focusing system provides the necessary section of this beam. In the slowing wave system, the interaction between the electrons and the waves takes place. Slowing wave system has a periodic structure and represents the waveguides with periodically varying parameters. By selecting the special period of the waveguide, phase matching of electrons and one of the harmonics of the backwards, if a wave moves along it to the cathode, you can choose the accelerating voltage for electron beam so as to ensure the synchronism between the electrons and one of the slow backward waves. Passing through inhomogeneities, the electrons will meet the same phase of high frequency field. Part of the kinetic energy of electrons is transferred to the microwave field, which modulates the electron beam by the velocity. The fast electrons catch up with the slow ones. This phenomenon is called grouping of phasing of the particles. Induced high frequency current of electrons irradiates the high frequency field, which flowing into the initial wave leads to its strengthening. At the exit of the tube near the electron gun, a field gradient in signal than the original one is created. For a grouped beam to emit and not to absorb electromagnetic waves, the initial velocity of the electrons should be slightly higher than the phase velocity. In the O-type tube, electrons transfer to the field their excessive kinetic energy, corresponding to the difference of velocities of electrons and the waves. The efficiency is limited by a permissible difference of these velocities. On the contrary, in M-timed tubes, M as a magnetron, the kinetic energy of electrons is not changed, but the potential energy is. It is converted to the energy of microwave field in the M-timed tube most favorable interaction of the electron flow and microwave field occurs at the moment of exact equality of the average velocity of electrons and the phase velocity of the wave. A flow of electrons is created and it moves from the cathode to the collector along a curved trajectory. If the flow current is heavy enough, the interaction between the electron flow and the field of the wave begins. Electrons move to the collector and the energy of the wave moves in the opposite direction to the waveguide output of the device. As a result, a positive feedback coupling between the wave field and the electron flow occur. The wave giving away only a part of its energy to a grouping of electrons requires a greater amount due to the decrease of potential energy of the electrons that are grouped. The efficiency of a backward wave tube with the OTA reaches only a few percent, and the efficiency of the M-type tubes reaches 50-60%. In foreign literature, backward wave tube is sometimes called casinotron. They generate vibrations of up to 1500 GHz frequency. Backward wave tubes are used in wide-range signal generators for radio engineering measurements and radio frequency spectroscopy mainly for generating a terahertz radiation in master clock or transmitters with fast frequency tuning and in other microwave equipment.